Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. I want to talk about something that's occurring more and more frequently. We're seeing a lot of it in the office, and it's a scenario where children are passing out. Okay, they may pass out in the shower, they may pass out at school, they may pass out if they're all sorts of circumstances. And so, you know, appropriately, the parents go see the pediatrician that runs the basic labs, they are anemic, they check them out, they can't find out anything keeps happening. Now they go to a cardiologist. They're looking at an EKG. They may do an ultrasound. They do a tilt table. They aren't really finding anything. Everything's kind of normal. They even go to maybe do a neurologist. You get a scan of the head, other blood work, normal, 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 normal. Okay. What's happening here is these children are having difficulty with their autonomic nervous system. Now the autonomic nervous system, you think of it like the automatic nervous system. It's this subset uh, kind of regulatory mechanism that makes your body function differently under different stress. So your body, you can imagine like how your body's different when you're sound asleep or being chased by a tiger, okay? Or you haven't eaten in four days or you just had a big meal or it's 20 degrees below zero or it's 120 degrees here. All these kind of physiological changes the autonomic nervous system regulates. It controls metabolism, hormones, your immune system, uh, your emotions, and all your organs, including your blood pressure and your heart rate, okay? And when the autonomic nervous system is not functioning correctly, the single most common thing that people complain of is symptoms related to low blood pressure, typically uh, in the head. All right. Now, to get oxygen in your brain, you need to, you have red blood cells, you breathe, you fill them up with oxygen. You got to push them at the right pressure for that oxygen to flow in your brain. Okay. And when people have an injury, say just a common concussion to the autonomic nervous system, this does not work correctly. All right. If you've ever stood up and been like, whoa, I feel like I'm almost passed out or something like that. Okay, here's your head. When you stand up, your nervous system has to push perfectly against gravity to get that pressure so the oxygen can transfuse into your neurons correctly. Your neurons only have one second of spare oxygen, all right? And typically when the kids are passing out, when you talk to them, They've had like occasional lightheadedness or they're tired or they're kind of, so attention deficit disorder is low blood pressure to the head. So they might even been have some school issues, just a little harder to focus, nothing major. But when I go back, I can find these kind of things. Uh, this low pressure up here will also affect the scalp and neck. So like sometimes they have chronic neck pain or they're having more headaches. That's from low blood pressure, okay? And so, you can see this kind of happening. Now, this kind of injury to the autonomic nervous system typically does not show up on a CAT scan or an MRI scan, okay? Uh, it's difficult to test for. Most neurologists don't have the ability to test for it, and you don't even need to test for it because once you've seen a neurologist and a cardiologist and the labs are good and they've done all this stuff, it's the autonomic nervous system by default. All right, there is nothing else that's going to do this. Now, sometimes they're doing this and they'll say, oh, it's natural, you know, especially in girls. They'll say, oh, this is natural. You know, they'll get over it. It's called uh, vasovagal, okay? Vasovagal means that's autonomic terminology, okay? And, um, and I'm sorry, I don't think passing out uh, in the shower is normal. Okay, this is kind of a dismissive thing uh, that you'll see this bias that healthcare system has, especially uh, you know, to children, to women, and anybody who's uh, not white. Okay, the system is kind of a little dismissive. So let's not go down that path. You can fix this problem, and this problem is going to get worse if we don't. Now, why is it happening? Okay, normally. If you get a simple concussion, okay, so concussion is damage some neurons, uh, symptoms for a couple days, but no bleeding in the brain, okay? 
if that happens, you recover. As long as one thing's happening, as long as you don't have chronic inflammation, you'll fully recover. All right? Now, you, your injuries could be even less than that, like the impact of a soccer ball, if you had that. Damages neurons. You'll recover, as long as you don't have inflammation. Okay. Emotional trauma. Friend or your pet dies. Abuse. Rape. Uh, being you know, ghosted by your best friend. Emotional trauma damages neurons. As long as you don't have inflammation, you'll recover. Again, a few days, a few weeks. Inflammation. Uh, this is when your immune system turns on in kind of a rapid way and you get a spike of these kind of stress chemicals in the bloodstream. Vaccines can give you a brain injury. As long as you don't have chronic inflammation, you'll recover. Very common, COVID. Okay, COVID is behind a lot of this that we're seeing right now. COVID causes a huge stressor of inflammation, giving you a concussion. Okay, and the problem with COVID is COVID causes chronic inflammation to occur by damaging your gut, your gut lining and causes perpetual inflammation. So now you don't recover. Okay, you, there I've got videos about COVID. If you happen to have SIBO, small intestine bacterial overgrowth, so that's where you have excess bacteria living in the small intestine, that causes chronic inflammation and all these injuries, you don't recover. Potentially a lot of junk food, which has you know, high in vegetable oils, highly inflammatory, corn oil, safflower, sunflower, soybean oil, okay? Highly inflammatory. Potentially, you don't recover from that. And these little things, so you can have little bumps to the head, some emotional trauma, you've got your normal vaccines. If you don't fully recover, you leave damage behind and the damage starts building. Boom, 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 in a process we call cumulative brain injury. So they're minor brain injuries, you don't fully recover, and they start building on top of each other. And the number one thing that this is gonna cause people to complain of are a range of symptoms where you can't generate blood pressure to your head, okay? So at worst, you pass out, or you're lightheaded getting up, or you're tired, or you can't focus, it makes you anxious, makes you aggressive, causes PMS, makes people crave salted sugar, makes people thirsty, makes people crave nicotine. Okay, causes panic attacks, causes road rage, it's all low blood pressure problems. Okay, my protocol was designed to help safely lower inflammation, and when you do, this will recover. We presented this data at meetings, we were issued a patent for this. It works, okay, because your body is able to fix it. You don't need some magical thing. Okay, if you want to read about the protocol, uh, we've got our blue book about POTS and ADD, stuff like that. It'll tell you all these mechanics. But this is all about, like, if your kid is just passing out and the specialist can't figure it out, that's what's going on. I can guarantee you. All right? And uh, most of it, you can just do at home. You don't even need to come here. You read the book. It's kind of a do-it-yourself guide. You buy a couple simple supplements. It's basically something to balance your gut bacteria. It's inulin if they're kids. Rifaximin if they're older fish oil, olive oil, and I, at this point, recommend everybody take some glutamine, uh, L-glutamine from Now Sports. There's some dosing, you gotta find that, you find that on my website. And those combined will lower the inflammation enough, you'll recover. It works nearly every time, okay? That's all for now. Remember, hit the subscribe button. Go to nimichuk.com if you want to get your fish oil, olive oil, inulin. If you want to do a vagal stimulator, you'll see that about that in the book. You can go to vitalitysmartcable.com. Other than that, everybody have a great day. Thank you. Bye.